Hey, everybody. Sorry, let me turn the TV down. I should have done that. This is Joanne from Texas checking in on a P3 day two. Uh, I'm still at LIW, so that's good. Um, sorry about the angle. You can see my waddle too good that way, but this is the way it's going to have to be. Um, well, nothing's new. <laughs> Actually, I am, um, at LIW, I introduced bacon. Sorry, this is food porn, but this is P3. You have to expect it. Uh, bacon. Uh, I had two slices of bacon. And I had uh, about a cup of um, yogurt, 0% uh, Faye, with uh, strawberries on top. And a, just very few... Um, of the sugar-free chocolate chips and that was breakfast and then um, wasn't hungry for lunch uh, and finally I was getting a little hung hungry so thought I ought to I thought I ought to eat something and so I had um, A slice of cheese, pepper jack cheese, and I had about a quarter of a slice of a steak left and ate that. And that's that's plenty. I'm fine with that. Um and then for supper I think I'm going to have uh tilapia and green beans. And for a snack, uh, I will probably have my apple. I did bake today. I'm experimenting with Thanksgiving coming up. And a lot of my family is uh, gluten-free or eating low-carb. And so I was looking for a low-carb uh, pumpkin cake. I have a uh, pumpkin, um, kind of like little butt pans, only they um, actually imprint uh, a leaves and a place for a, um, what do you call that? <laughs> The stock, no, it's not a stock. You know what I'm talking about. The leaves and the little thingy on the pumpkin. Um, what is that called? Anyway, um, and it comes in, in two sides, and it makes a small pumpkin. And then you turn them out, and you put them on top of each other. It makes a whole pumpkin. And then... Um, the recipe was uh, low carb and no sugar, um, and so I tried it. We shall see. It's made with almond flour. I didn't. Ha it was supposed to be made with almond flour, three cups. Uh, I didn't have three cups of almond flour. I had a cup and a half, and so I substituted uh, coconut flour in there. And a little bit of flax meal. And uh, when I did that, I added a little extra pumpkin and a little extra, uh, an extra egg for the moisture. Because the uh, coconut flour is less moist than uh, almond flour is. And you added... Um, your sweetener, which they had said a swerve, which I have, so I, I added that. And then uh, it said sugar-free uh, maple syrup, which I have, so I added that. 
and um, vanilla and walnuts, which I didn't have very many walnuts, so I did a mixture of walnuts and macadamia nuts. Um, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, a little bit of salt. Anyway, uh, you mix all that up and uh, then I put it in my butt pan for about 50 or 60 minutes. So we shall see how it is. It smells very good. It's smelling up my house. Flavors of pumpkin and fall. So, um, you know I'll have to try a slice. And if it's any good, I'll actually freeze it until I get into closer, closer in P3 and P4. Uh, and then I'll eat it and eat it for breakfast and stuff. But I'll have to try it out. So, uh, it's going very slow for P3. Um, I have, you know, usually the beginning of P3 is very boring because I don't do a lot of baking and cooking yet. Uh, once I'm further into P3 and P4, then I will start making my pumpkin donuts and I will make, um, my carb quick biscuits and uh, sausage gravy and I will make my um, French toast and uh, there's a lot of other recipes that I've been looking at too that I'll, that I'll make um, pretty uh we're not going to uh, come to my house for supper this speaking uh on friday instead we're going to go out to eat uh because only one of my sisters can come the other one dropped a plate on her foot uh a cooking uh iron plate i mean it was heavy it was um and um on, on her toe and she might have broke it so she can't walk very well so anyway my daughter and my older sister uh, is going to come in and we're going to eat at Matt's Mexican and I'm going to get fajitas uh, and of course not eat the um, tortillas and but I can have the sour cream and the, and the, a little bit of the guacamole. So I'm I'm fine with that. She said she's going to have tortilla soup, which sounds really good too. But it's got the strips of uh, tortillas in it. But and anyway, and then we're going to go to Close Mentor, and I'm going to bring some of my clothes over there. And uh, she's going to she has a Close Mentor in McKinney, and that's where she lives, and that's the one that she goes to, and she's going to come to ours. So. Anyway, we're going to eat and have a fun night of uh, shopping at Close Mentors, so that should be fun. Anyway, um, that's it. It's eight minutes of nothing, uh, nothing new. Um, my daughter came and got those uh, pop, magic pops, because remember I had got like a whole case full. And uh, she took some to work to let the ladies at her school try, and they loved them. So she, uh, and she loves them. So she said that she was going to take them for a snack. Because like I said, they're 15 uh, calories each. So, I mean, and uh, you could have, uh, you know, two or three of those to equal a Melba if you wanted to. And um, anyway, I don't think there's anything else. I'll let you know how the cake uh, turns out. I think it should be pretty good. I'll show it to y'all. I might have to make another video and show y'all. I was going to make a cooking video, but I thought, nah, uh, I don't know, not until it turns out. So, all right, well, I'm going to go, and I hope everybody is having a nice day, and I love everybody, and thank y'all all for the comments on my silly little dance that <laughs> takes me back takes me way back <laughs> anyway i appreciate each and every one of y'all and y'all have a great day bye did you catch it bye